Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, today um, in North West Leicestershire, UK, um, it is um, sunny outside, uh, blue skies, but it's also uh, very cold and um, frosty, um, just say, I see. Um, I hope everybody's okay. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name, name's Rebecca. I love talking about travel and lifestyle. So please subscribe uh, to both my my channels and th um, thank you for doing so. Um, Rebecca's Travels and Rebecca's Lifestyle. Um, I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts December 2022 Part 3. So I'm going to kick off um, with number one BBC News at uh, UK weather, snow and ice causing travel disruptions in, around UK unfortunately. Snow and ice are continuing uh, to cause widespread uh, travel disruption across the UK, the coldest night of the year so far last, uh, last night. Um, I saw a heavy snow in Scotland and South East and Eastern England with delays um, hitting road, rail and air. So again, um, you'll just have to be more patient um, on the roads or if you're travelling by rail or air because you, uh, you may get uh, flight cancellations or train cancellations um, but again it's always better to check beforehand at whether you need to change to another day or another time or try and get a refund um, if possible um, and number two um, gov.uk strike action to affect travellers uh, entering the UK um, the most uh, travellers uh, should check uh, the latest travel advice uh, with the operators before travelling so if you're travelling with a, a tour operator um, etc then you need to check the latest travel advice um, especially, um, also if you're travelling by coach um, number three BBC News Heathrow Airport aims for no cancellation flights at joint strikes at six UK airports due to be affected by the strike who uh, cannot use e-gates are concerned about travelling um, during the strike starting on the 23rd of December which is basically overpay pensions jobs etc and um, Ethero insists um, the vast majority of travellers will not be that will be unaffected and um, the affected airports are though um, Heathrow, Birmingham Cardiff, Gatwick, Glasgow and Manchester um, so if you have got flights uh, booked or um, are collecting uh, anybody um, for, uh, from on an inbound flight coming into the UK or if you're taking an outbound flight then again check um, if they've been delayed or cancelled etc um um i hope um heathrow uh, doesn't have to cancel any flights or um i hope um flights are unaffected as much as uh, as possible i really hope so fingers crossed and no one is affected but it's just better to check that uh, then to, uh, to just find out um, 
and not and not because if you check in advance and you can plan in advance you see number four chronicle live northeast news live updates uh, with traffic um standing still on the a1 at uh, more path and um, northumberland um after multi-vehicle crash i hope everybody's okay normal traffic conditions are expected on the a1 south bound uh, near more path northumberland between it was between 11 a.m to 11 15 according to uh, traffic england so i hope um it gets better northbound as soon as possible and um, last but not least um timeout.com uh, this pretty part of the uk has been named one of the world's stunning uh, travel destinations it's draw drop in family friendly destination Pembrokeshire, Wales came 16th on the list. Other places on the list in the UK are Leeds and the Scottish Islands. Wow, that's interesting to know. So I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow with um, a budget travel destinations at special so please keep watching and have a nice day and night wherever you are in the world and bye for now thank you bye